guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm back with another reaction video this one was not requested but we're gonna check it out anyway so today we have my first blackout <laughs> my first black cookout so we're going to react to this white guy talk about his, his experience at being at a black cookout so like comment and subscribe turn your post notifications comment down below any more suggestions that we're gonna get right over there to the video? Let's go. All right, I'm gonna start this one off by saying I got a lot of black friends, okay? Most of them I got through playing football. They were my teammates. We've been to war together on the football field, loving to death. Now, with that being said, ever since I have had said friends, they have told me that I have a bad habit of putting them in white people positions. I do not fully understand what they mean, but they gave me the reference of like, passing a cop on a two-lane road because he's going underneath the speed limit. Apparently, they ain't supposed to do that. It makes them nervous. Anyway, about a week ago, get a call from a buddy of mine. Play football together. Says, hey, buddy, I want you to come to a cookout. Hell, you ain't got to hit me in the face with a wet mop. I like cookout. So I show up to the cookout. All right? As I step out of my pick -em up truck, I realized that the only three white things at this cookout is the salt shaker, the napkins, and me. <laughs> Alright. As I'm walking up, I am being greeted by his grandma and grandpa and his great grandma and grandpa and his 47 cousins. Alright, which there's no way for me to remember all these people's names. Anyway, there's a long table where the food's where the food everybody's eating at. Okay. They bring me over and set me down at the head of the table. I'm already, I'm already really uncomfortable at this point because I don't know what's about to happen. Well, they say the blessing and I get up to go fix my food. Well, I was not aware that at a black cookout, you do not fix your own plate. They <laughs> fix your plate for Thanks. you. Thanks. Now, they bring me a whopping Dixie plate that some bitches rounded off like this with barbecue. Wow. Okay? And I'm going to eat it. Don't get me wrong. I don't waste food. I'm going to eat it. So as I'm sitting there munching away, you know, just kind of getting my bearings about where I'm at, these two ladies walk up to me, two of his aunties, with two different potato salads. That's a problem. Right. They say, we want to get your, your opinion on which one of these is better. Now, apparently just because I'm white, I'm supposed to know the different calibers of mayonnaise. Well, I ain't finna piss nobody off at this cookout. Okay, so I ate both of them and I told them that they were just so damn good. Both of them, I, I couldn't pick one. Now, at this current time, I am almost in a food coma because I've ate so much because I didn't want to disrespect nobody's cooking there. And then his great grandmama, Mama T, that's what they call her, she comes up to me with what looks like a five pound piece of cherry pie. Now, I love let me paint a picture pie. for you. I've got the meat sweats. All right. Back barbecue sauce on my shirt. I'm drifting in and out of consciousness, and she wants she's bringing me a five pound piece of pie. Now, I saw Friday after next. I know what happens when you disrespect somebody's grandmama. I saw what happened to Craig and Day Day when they disrespect somebody's grandmama. You ain't have you ain't finna be chasing me through these pines because we way out in the woods at this cookout. I'm white, not stupid. <laughs> So as I eat this pie, which I'm eating this pie because I ain't finna piss off nobody, especially the head woman there because she ranked up top. That's great grandma. So you don't mess with her. I finish this pie and I drift off into a Caucasian kycosis of a food coma. And I did just like this right here. Just like this. I went, whew, I'm full. As soon as I tipped my head back up, the table I'm sitting at is no more food on this table. I don't know how long I was out for. But somehow... I have, I'm still in the same chair. I have been dealt into a high stakes spades game at an all black cookout besides me. What the fuck is going on? How did I get here? At what point in my life did I take this turn to take me to where I'm at? And now the cards is in front of me and I got no idea how to play spades, okay? None. I got no idea, all right? I'm white. We played go fish and cornhole. All we did, we got bored one day, literally did the whitest thing possible walked out in the field got some corn 
took our pocket knives and cut it off the stalk, all right? Put it in a bag, went over there, found some plywood in the shed, cut a hole in it, put it on an angle, and we tossed it at each other. That's what we do. I have no idea what spades is. So as they give me the runaround idea what the hell is going on with this spades game, I really, I look at my hand and I realize that I probably got a pretty decent hand. Well, they asked me, they said, Zach, how many books you got? Which they had just explained this to me now. I'm talking about just now. I said, it looks like I got eight books. Apparently that is the wrong damn answer for your first hand of spades ever. Cause as soon as I said I got eight books, three Glock nines hit the top of the table. I've got every damn spade that you could possibly have and three other aces. Well, as I survived that round, I go to get up and one of his cousins come over and taps me on the shoulder and say, hey buddy, you wanna go throw bones? I don't know what they're talking about. I ain't got a shitting clue what they're talking about. But I ain't gonna piss nobody off. You gotta understand at this point, I am in survival mode. I am not <laughs> pissing not one person off at this cookout. I do whatever they tell me to do. If they want me to stand on my head and blow bubbles out of my ass, I will do it. Don't hurt me. Okay? Now, I did not know bones meant dice. I was leaning more toward dominoes, which I kind of knew how to play from the Elks Lodge. But apparently, Bones means dice. I lost $36 so fast my fucking head was spinning. Whoa. Okay? And apparently when they yell gator, that just code word for the white man loses because they just took my money and I just put some more down until I ran out of money. Which is fine. I made it through that one too. Now, as I'm slowly trying to make my way back to my truck, I went over to thank Mama T. You know, I thank, I thank my buddy. I thank everybody on the way to my truck. And I've got my truck in my sights. I am zeroed in on my truck trying to leave this place now i get to my truck i put my hand on my truck to go open it and there's a like a sense of relief that comes over me like i didn't piss nobody off nothing went wrong i went whew, i made it now as i open my door i feel a tap on my shoulder i turn around the whole damn cookout is behind me everybody there is right around my truck <laughs> with Mama T there. right there in the front and my buddy. <laughs> and he looked at me, he said, hey buddy, next week's Mama T's birthday, you coming back? And I looked at him, <laughs> bamboozled on what to say. And the only thing I could come up with was, you damn right I'm coming back because that's the best damn barbecue I've ever had in my life. I don't know if you've ever been to All Black Cookout, but I'm going to tell you something. If you get the invitation, you better take that shit because that is the best food you ever going to get Thanks. and the nicest damn people. I scared shitless. I ain't going to lie. I'm a big guy. I was acting like a little bitch. I didn't know what was happening. But at the same time, that's the most fun and some of the best people I've ever been around in my entire life. I'm going back next week. Bet. I told him, I said, y'all need me to bring something like some ice because I ain't trying to cook with y'all. Y'all want some ice or like or like some, uh, you want me to go get my little cousin Kyle to wear his monster hats and shit and bring him? You know, so he'll, he'll feel at home. He got wife beaters and stuff. <laughs> so, what y'all need? They told me I couldn't bring nothing but myself, me, and I, which I will be there. I'm white, not stupid. I ain't pissing nobody off. <laughs> she. <laughs> That was hilarious. <laughs> but he ain't lying though. Black people throw like the most funnest barbecues, cookouts, you name it. You come, you're going to be there having a good time. It may start off a little, if you don't know, people, whatever. Eventually you get into it, you, you're going to believe it. Full, happy. And even with some extra food, because that's just how we get down. We get down at the cookout. We get down at the cookout. We get, we get, we get down at the cookout. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I thought something crazy was about to pop off. No. Wow. So he had a good time. He enjoyed himself, because that's what we do. We got that Southern hospitality. Hey, 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 we got the Southern Hospitality. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, my God. This was so much fun. <laughs> oh, my God. Listen to him recap what happened to him when he went on his first experience to a barbecue. It was legit fun. Oh, my gosh. This was, oh, my God, funny. <laughs> I was like, what? But anyway, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed this reaction. Something new to the channel. 
Let me know if y'all like to react, want me to react to some more videos like this. Let me know. Let me know. Hit up my comments down below. Down below. Also, hit the subscribe button right over there. That red button, please. Thank you. Turn it gray, please. And until next time, we are out of here. Peace.